why don't you have pole vents on your woofers? Well, we've had pole vents on our woofers. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. The thing with pole vents is pole vents don't do what you think they do. Um, pole vents are primarily used to oftentimes relieve back pressure under a cone, and pole vents really don't do a whole lot for cooling, or not as much as you think they do. So for an example, I'm gonna hold this up, maybe Timmy here can get me some close-up shots of this, and I just happen to have it sitting here. This is the back of the new Comp RT six and three quarter inch driver. And as Tim can see there, you can notice there's no pole vent on this driver either. But you'll notice there's four evenly spaced holes that sit around, and those holes are actually in the gap. And it's not the number of holes, and it's not the size of holes is a fixed thing. It's how many holes, how big they are, where they're placed, and what our engineers are doing is that they're actually doing this to calculate how much air can we pump back and forth directly over the voice coil to help cool the speaker. And so when Aaron was talking about in that video about the drivers running 20 to 25% cooler, which is depending on the driver we're talking about, that's the range it is, is this new perimeter back venting, which is our forced air cooling technology, actually makes the drivers run significantly cooler. 20 to 25% cooler is nothing to sneeze at. That's a lot of thermal that you're getting out of the voice coil. And so the pole vent, don't focus on that as much as being for cooling, guys, because it's really not for cooling. It's for relieving back pressure when you want to. In this case, we don't want a pole vent. We actually want to be able to take all that air that's in there and we want to control it. We want to force it down over the voice coil windings and back up through these perimeter vents to help cool that voice coil. Uh, it's just that simple. It's like taking a hot spoonful of soup, if you want to cool it down, you blow air across it. And as you blow that air across that hot soup, it pulls the heat away from the liquid. Same thing's happening here. We are controlling the velocity and quantity of air from the, the speaker physically moving, and it's pushing that air back and forth across the voice coil. So this is what Aaron was referring to in that video. This is the perimeter cooling or the forced air cooling that we're talking about. And it's a feature you're gonna see incorporated into probably every single driver we do as we do model changes. A lot of our current drivers out in the field right now do have the venting on on this and it's real easy to see just look at the back of the speaker if you see these small holes there could be four there could be five there could be six it depends on the model of speaker the engineers have designed it to control that airflow and that air velocity to cool that voice cool down